Hey guys, this is Miriam at High Life Auto. I am out doing a video test drive on a 2003 Chevy Tahoe. If you've never been on my video test drives before, the way it works is I drive the vehicle on video and I tell you what I see, hear, think, smell, and feel to give you the best indication of being in the driver's seat without actually being in the driver's seat. I'm not a mechanic and this is not meant to be a 182 point inspection, rather it's meant to be a sneak peek into how the vehicle drives and any potential issues I notice as we're going along. So we'll take a look around the vehicle, we'll take a look under the hood, and then we'll go for a drive. Um, and I had completely forgotten that we had this. Uh, I was just coming over and moving stuff on the lot. I'm like, hey, I haven't driven this yet. Um, and I don't know much about it. I know that I think I think on the window somewhere they said brake issue, and I kind of felt that. Um, but we're gonna go drive it. It's a Tahoe, which is the 5.3, which is typically a like a stand-up motor. Um, so we're gonna find out. And if there's any um, you know disclosures that the auction had, they'll be in my description um, because I don't have the folder in front of me. I don't know them um, right off the top of my head. Um, so uh, we'll just do the video and then read the description for anything else that I need to tell you that I didn't tell you. So there, that's it, and um, we'll take a look at this thing. It's not pretty, um, just kind of a forewarning. It's not perfect, it's not pretty, but it's a, um, I think it's a four wheel drive. Um, oh, it should be a four wheel drive pending, you know, no announcements or something from the auction. Um, should be a four wheel drive car, so let's give it a shot. Okay, like I said, 03 Tahoe, um, the, it's, it's rusty, and there's, there's no way around that. Um, I don't know if there's anything really you can do about it, except maybe paint the bottom. You know, you can paint that whole bottom panel thing black um, kind of make it look a little bit better um, but the auction also said rusty frame uh, right there on the window it says RF that means rusty frame um, so what that means is that the auction the seller didn't want it to be returned by us and so uh, they just said well hey it's a rusty frame in case you find any rust in there you know um, then we're just not gonna take it back because we already told you it's a rusty frame so um, I will look underneath there um, a lot of times it's just rocker rust sometimes it's more than that um, and they're actually being legitimate. Most of the time it is uh, a dealer covering their butt because that's the world we're in where everybody has to cover their butt because somebody's gonna sue somebody and that's how it goes. Um, so we'll, we'll get to that part though. Um, rear tires are probably probably about 40% of them, I guess, 35-40%. Uh, front tires are about the same, probably closer to the 30% on both of those. Um, okay, so they said rusty frame, so I'm gonna get underneath here. Um, just a disclaimer, I also expect, if it says rusty frame, that you get underneath here and you look at it. Um, so there's obviously rusty rockers, these things are gone. That's typical Midwest. Uh, so here is the frame rail. And you've got, you got surface rust on there. You got rust right here. Um, I mean that, that's rusted through, but that's solid. Like I'm not, um, so there's, there's some rust right there on the frame rail. And there's some rust right here, this is like a tow point. Um, a lot of it's surface rust. There is some, there are some rusty points that probably should be, um, uh, da, 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 uh, um, I'm looking for a word that just in, uh, reinforces it. Should be reinforced, um, you know, welded and reinforced with some metal. Um, I don't think it's gonna like fall apart, but it is there. Um, so it's just something to be aware of that you need to know and be prepared for. Um, and we'll walk around and see what else we've got and then we'll check the other side. Uh, back end, it's, you know, it's got some rust on the bumper. Um, this handle's gone and so I imagine that there might be a, well it looks like you might be able to open this tailgate if you know what you're doing. Um, I think, like there's a little latch right there, I think if you know what you're doing you can open this tailgate. Um, I don't know what I'm doing off the top of my head so um, I'm just going to say for right now that it just needs some work, it probably just needs that latch. Um, but we're gonna assume that it opens just for assumption purposes. Um, this side, again, you've got the rust. It looks like that uh, running bar is probably not something you should stand on. Um, it looks like it's um, rusted kind of right with I think they attach like to your rockers, which we know are rusted. So on this side, we've got our frame rail. Again, I mean, you've got, you've got rust, but it's not like falling apart rust. It's on there. It's surface rust, and there is, I mean, it is a little bit deeper um, than straight surface, but like I said, I don't think it's falling apart. Um, you can hear the exhaust is a little bit louder, and I can see, I don't even know if you can see, I don't know if I'm pointing, in there, there's a muffler. Um, it looks like it's got some rust on it too, um, so that would be why your exhaust is a little bit louder. Um, but I don't see any, like, rust where there's suspension parts, like I don't see it rusted at the ball joint type of thing. So your ball joint's kind of come out or something like that. Um, it looks like it's on the frame rail. Um, so something that could be uh, definitely reinforced, but something that you need to know going into it. 
Um, so it's just cloth. It looks like it's been used like as a farm vehicle or something. Um, so it is a little bit dirty, could be cleaned. Um, I know this goes down somehow. There's a button somewhere. It makes it go down, but I don't know where the button is. Okay, so it does have the third row. That one's folded down right there, um, but it does have the third row if you are hauling people. Um, and these go all the way up, and this could uh, lay flat for um, hauling purposes and stuff like that. So um, there's that. This one, it looks like, um, well, here, it's, I mean, it's in decent condition. It's dirty, it needs cleaned, um, but like the seats are in decent condition. Um, I noticed that this handle, these are new handles, like they're cheap plastic, you know, probably from Amazon or something. Um, it's just a little bit, I mean, it, it does what it's supposed to do. It opens, it just feels, it feels like cheap plastic is what it is. Um, but, okay, from the front, Chevy Tahoe. Okay, let's pop this hood. And there you go, your good old 5.3, um, which is, like I said, is a, is a great motor. Um, multiple times I have gotten in them and just taken off driving um, because they're just typically they're just stand tall motors and not much goes wrong with them um, so really you know it's, it's like this one most of the time they rust out before before something happens with the motor as long as you take care of it so um, there's that and we're gonna look inside um, we do have a check engine light I don't have my computer with me so I'll um, try and post that in the description there was a brake light on there. Like I said, the brakes are weak. Um, even just right now, I feel it. They're, uh, they're, they're weak. And so it's something um, you need to be aware of when driving. I checked the brake fluid. Uh, brake fluid is full. And so it's more likely, um, you know, air in the lines or master cylinder um, or something like that. Because if the brake fluid is full, that means that it's not leaking anywhere. Um, so you're probably looking at more master cylinder type thing. Um, or, you know, potentially air in the lines. But... Um, that's kind of where I would be guessing on that. So, um, uh, and you can kind of see on here the, the lights flash, but they don't actually do that. That's just a, um, a product of the camera and the LCD screens. Um, service brake system, obviously it says that because there's a brake light on. Um, let's see if I can get past there. Do, 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 do. Where is the info screen? Is that that? Okay. Um, 219,148 miles. And it looks like we bought it at 219,110. So they drove this from the auction. So the other 38 miles on there would have been driven from the auction. Which is kind of good because it means they drove it from the auction. They drove it 38 miles. Um, and that's, that's... They trusted it enough to do that. So... Um, with the the brakes you know you just got to be cautious of them i think um let's see driver's side window works passenger side window let me make sure my windows aren't locked okay passenger side window does not go down from the driver's side let's see if it does from here yep okay so the window goes down from the passenger side uh just not from the driver's side which means that this switch is probably uh, not good but um probably the same thing on both back windows let me check Okay, and that window goes down. I can't reach the passenger rear window, um, but based on the fact that all the other windows went down, um, just I would say this switch is probably bad. A driver's window does go down, but all the others don't seem to work. Um, so there's that. We're going to try. It is the middle of summer. It's like 96 degrees today, so I'm going to try the AC. Whew! Okay, AC blows good and cold. Um, make sure it stays that way. Um, but uh, that, that is awesome. That's a good thing because in this hot weather, you gotta have AC. So, um, radio works. Let's see. That's it. Okay, so now we're gonna go take it for a drive. Um, and we do have on the, the rear, we've got the rear controls. Um, and so I'm assuming those work. I don't know, cause I'm not back there. Um, we're gonna go take it for a drive and see what we've got. Um, and yeah. Okay, so I just tested the brakes just to see. Um, they do stop, like if you had to slam on the brakes, um, there's probably a, and I, I wasn't going very far, um, but I mean, you should probably count on two to three times your stopping distance. Um, okay, let me put my seatbelt on. Um, we might have that chime the entire time um, with the, the brake light on, uh, because when that brake light's on, 
they the computer tends to think that uh, the parking brake is on um, and it's not on because uh, I, I double checked that so uh, but it's it tends to think that it is and so it warns you hey brake problem brake problem brake problem brake problem um, so that that alarm is going off we'll see if it stops um, but that's going to be something that um, I mean brakes need to be serviced immediately anyways uh, so that's kind of going to be something that goes away with with that service it's got good power like the motor feels good um, you you get on the gas and it it immediately responds um, and it does what it's supposed to do it's got no problem at all going up this hill it's not hesitating like none of my other buttons work um, other than that four button um, so I know that a lot of times with the Chevy the actuator is the problem um, I have to double check I don't this okay so this one um, did not have the drive shaft in the back the other one had a drive shaft in the back um, so just something to be aware of it said for service four-wheel drive on that um, left turn signal works right turn signal works uh, windshield wipers work windshield wiper fluid works um, and another cool thing to mention is just um, this has been over on my other lot um, for I don't know two months uh, and I have not been over there to start it and I got over there today and I started it and it just popped right off um, which is kind of cool like I mean there's some newer vehicles that you have to jump occasionally this one I I have not had to jump um, and it, it kind of stayed where it was so that is cool um, so there's your, your turn signals, your wipers, your wiper fluid. Your horn does not work, I'm going to say. Um, and the, the air conditioning is now blowing a little bit warmer. It's still not not hot, but it's warmer than ice cold. When, it first, when I first turned it on, it was ice cold, and now it's a little bit warmer than that. So um, a couple things you need to pay attention to. The good things about this is this motor it seems solid like it's it's a stand tall motor like I said um, the transmission shifting the way it should I didn't have any problem getting up and going um, outside of that it does need some work like it's not pretty um, it probably needs some frame reinforcement if you're a welder um, it needs some work on um, the air conditioning the brakes uh, the four-wheel drive um, and then you know check check my description for what that check engine light says so if you just need a cheap four-wheel drive vehicle that you're willing to throw a little bit of money in here and there um, like it does you can get in it and drive it right now if you know you, you're kind of on a budget you can get in it and drive it right now um, and then just kind of as you have money pour some money into it and get and get some things done on it um, that's that's kind of what this truck is going to be um, it's going to be a cheap one that you can um, kind of fix along the way uh, but it'll get you going where you need to go so that's it that's all um, I know it's not perfect and I know it's 
not really pretty but it's a car and it's four wheels and if that's what you need that's what I got so if you have any questions my cell phone is 309-267-7200 you can give me a call you can text me and I will try and answer those questions for you thanks guys